Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to have a look at how I have been preparing for Ashlands. I have built this entire village just to be ready for Ashlands. So I've placed it quite close to where Ashlands will be, but I haven't actually explored that area of my main map. So I've been quite lucky and I've managed to keep it the way it is. So I shouldn't have any problems when it actually drops. Oh, the excitement is real. I have been playing a little bit on the PTR, but I pretty much only looked at the items. I haven't actually gone down there and played it because I want to wait until it actually releases, until it's not full of bugs and everything. But what I have been doing in the meantime is building this place. So I've done many videos on several of the different buildings that are in this village, but I haven't actually shown you the main house or the little boat house that I actually made yesterday. I didn't really make a video on this because well, it's not really necessary, but this is is my boathouse where I'm actually going to park my boat uh, when I go to and from the Ashlands. I'm not too far away but still far enough that my world won't be completely ripped apart when they put in the Ashlands into the regular servers. If you didn't know if you have been too close or if you built too close to the Ashlands there is a possibility that your buildings could fall apart. Luckily I won't have a problem with that so I am absolutely pleased with this little village. I could probably have built it a little bit more compact and I probably could have built five less buildings but I like it to look pretty and I've even made a little patch up here where I can plant things because that was the last thing I was missing and again I made the boathouse the other day so I have several small houses. I have beds for a whole army. I have my little blacksmith there. I have one house here, one on the left there. I love that one. Then straight ahead here I have my storage house. We have the village shop right below it and of course a little plaza in the middle. I originally wanted to put my boathouse on this side so that was right behind me right now but I realized that that actually faces north so it was probably a better idea to put it on the other side. Now I do want to take you into a couple of the buildings. I really love this little plaza right here. It does look like there should have been 20 people living here but it's just me but you know. I like it to look pretty. This is one of my favorites. This is my little wood cabin. I did make a video on this and I just, I don't know, it feels nice and cozy and I'm, I'm quite happy with it. Now, the other things that are here, like the big house up here, technically it doesn't have a purpose. It just looks absolutely awesome and I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it for the world. Again, if lots of people want to come visit and actually play with me, I have beds and chairs and, well, everything you could possibly need in this little village. But for now, I guess I could sleep in one bed each night that come back here. And of course, I'm going to be spending a lot of time in the Ashlands as well. Heading to the right from here, we have a very bumpy road that I can't be bothered to fix and we'll head over to my little workshop. So I should have everything that I need here. I have, of course, gathered some iron because there are some swamps nearby and I've gathered some other things that I will probably need to take with me to the Ashlands. I've also cooked lots of food and everything else that I could possibly need. I did just realize, though, that I am missing one of these because I will. I don't know if I'll need any black metal and I'm I'm guessing that this is the one we will need to smelt full of metal. So I should probably put one of these up and maybe put a little fence around. Yeah, like this. Put a little fence around here so that nothing flies everywhere. Not that it will, but, um, you know, aesthetics and all that. I have a little bit of a garden patch here. I could probably make it a bit larger, but there are so many rocks in this terrain. I'm sure you can see bits of them everywhere and it really does my head in. But there's not much I can do about that. I can't be bothered excavating them all. This is another one of my little visitor houses. This was the first one that I actually built on this little plateau, which I have named Rohan. This is probably because I put that big house up on the cliff and from the bottom, it looks really, really awesome. And it is fully protected by a trench. It doesn't look that pretty, but it keeps everything out. The only thing that has come into this base so far is mosquitoes and I can deal with those. Let's enter this grand hall. I really wish I had horse heads that I could put because that would be very, very Rohan. So we got some tables around. I have everything I need for cooking and I should probably put up a couple of more uh, storage boxes here and there. I do have one at the back here as well. I have a portal. This one goes to my other planes house on the very far side of the map. And of course I had to have a little veranda here. I mean, look at that view. You can't see that much right now, but trust me, it's it's pretty. Very, very pretty. 
I do really like it here. It's really nice. And I have everything nearby. I have meadows, I have swamps, I have a mountain right behind me. It's very small, but there is a big one, not too far away. And then of course, upstairs, I have all the storage and another bed. Could you believe it? <laughs> I have so many beds everywhere, like I said, I could literally house an army, but for now I'm a one-man army, or a one-woman army, you could say. Lots of storage boxes around here, I will put them a bit more neatly because I'll probably need more than that, but, you know, coulda, woulda, shoulda, I'll get there at some point. I really love this house though, it really came out well. I tried to build it as kind of like a style of church, which is a very, very Norwegian thing. I got my windmills right here to grind up all the barley and the flax and this is where I put it so I'm, as you can see I'm not too far away from where the Ashland should be but everything that I've explored so far is in the north so I kind of needed an outpost a little bit closer because if not it would take a hundred years to get to the Ashlands. That was my little planning and preparing for the Ashlands. I do hope you like this village. I have shown some of it before, but I do hope you like my main building. This is the first time I'm showing it in any videos. Do let me know in the comments below and let me know what you are doing to get ready for Ashlands. And I'll see you guys soon in the wonderful world of Valheim.